Hello folks and welcome back here we are again oh yes with another video right then it's been a week since New Year's Eve I wonder how many people are still on their news resolutions or how many people have actually broken already but still anyway today is a workout with a little bit of a difference and what I mean by that is last workout last week as you may record if you watched it was my advanced leg workout which completely destroyed me now you can't train like that all the time you can do one of these CrossFit stars, but they're a bit, you know what I mean? But normal folk like us, we can't train like that every day. It's too much. It'll just take it out of you. So I'm going to have an easy workout today. But when I say easy, it's not too easy, you know what I mean? But the reason why you have easy days and hard days, you need variety. And it's not, you know, it's not a case of you've got to train like a twat every day. Because the other days, you don't feel like it. So you have an easy workout, at least you've still done something. So we're going to do a shoulder workout today. Two exercises and two exercises only, dumbbells. But before I start, I will say this. Now, I've had a few people say to me, how come you only train with light weights? I don't train with mega light weights, but as for training with heavy weights, them days have long gone for me, long, long gone. I'm talking like 20 odd years ago. Now, people have seen me in the gym only a couple of years ago, doing certain bodybuilding movements. Yes, I do every now and then, because like I say, variety. You know, but I will never be, and I have never been, one of these one rep max people. Oh, let's see how strong I can be. What a of bullshit that is. And what purpose does that actually serve? None. You know what I mean? But, big weights, you know, anyone can lift big weights. Simple as that. You know, I mean, I could do side lateral raises now. Heavy weights, easy. You know, I could train with big weights if I wanted to. It's not a problem. But, big weights, big muscles. <clears throat> as such, some of you training properly that is, of course. Uh, but all big weights do is slow you down. It's a hindrance. If you want to be able to defend yourself in a violent confrontation, which you never know, hopefully you won't ever get into one of them. But I can tell you now, 99% of people that do end up in a violent confrontation, it's never to their choosing. So you should always be ready. So you need to sacrifice a bit of mass. Reason B, if you want to be fast, oops, if you want to be fast with weapons, you know, you can't do that if you're a big lump. Or you want to be able to set, protect your centre line. Let's put it this way. I'm yet to meet a bodybuilder that can touch his elbows. If you can't touch your elbows, they can protect the centre line in the fight. It ain't going to happen. So you need to sacrifice mass if you want to be able to protect yourself. Trust me. But I do get where insecurity comes along because people think, oh, no one to mess with me now, man. One day you're going to fucking fall unlucky, trust me. One day you're going to pick a fight with someone like me who's a bit clued up. I don't give a fuck how big you are. Just take that into consideration. Uh, which is why I train light because I'm all about conditioning. Now, today's workout. First off, I'm going to take you through something called shoulder mobility. Uh, a lot of bodybuilders and big lumps, not just bodybuilders, fat bastards and all, they can't put their arm back. I mean, I know that as they go, oh, oh, as far as, as, far as warming up your little rotary cuffs and that, they can only go, oh, oh. How easy would it be just to smash their arm? So easy, man. You've got to be agile and supple. You know, you want a better, not just for protection purposes, for better quality of life, better quality of living. You know what I mean? You've got more energy, more get up and go, you can play with your kids a lot better. Being a lump is good to a degree, but it's cost effective because you've got to fucking eat loads. And it just, it's an hindrance. Simple as that, and it puts more stress on your heart. So don't be coming fucking one of these big lumps. <laughs> In fact, I'll give you an example. Bodybuilders cardio, fucking walk on a treadmill. And as you would have known by one of my last videos, that's not fucking cardio at all. But to a bodybuilder it is. Why? Because he's unfit as fuck. So, enough of that shit because I'm rumbling on a little bit. This is what I use quite a bit. It is an Indian club. It's not heavy. In fact, it's only two kilograms. I will show you. That's all it is, two kilograms. You can get them bigger, you can get them heavier, of course, but it's not very wise to use a big and heavy one because at the end of the day, I know it's only two kilograms, but the way the weight is distributed towards the end, it's all about momentum. When you start going heavy and stupid, 
That's when you have accidents. What I do with these, I would of course originally, these were made of wood, they were bigger, and the reason we're called Indian clubs, Indian you shoot them to club you over dead with. We use them for training, a training aid. Shoulder mobility, it's not hard. All you gotta do, it's all you gotta do. A couple of them, a few times a day, but as you come down, right to the side. Not over here, you don't want to miss. You want to be, you want to be right round and right down. From behind, simple as that. And you just keep them going. Simple as that. I'm a big fan of these. I think they're brilliant fit pieces of a kit. You know, but yet you never see them in gyms. I haven't got a clue why, you know. Well, if you go to certain martial arts centres, you assume, but when I say martial arts, I don't mean bullshit kickboxing or karate or anything like that, I mean proper martial arts. Then you will see these, you know, because they're just a brilliant aid to use. So this is a brilliant way to supple up your shoulders. It's a brilliant warm up and it helps with shoulder mobility big time. So if you've got a few bubs spare, in fact they're not expensive, but if you have got a few bubs spare, invest in one of those Indian club, they are the dogs. All right, I'm with shoulder workout. Like I say, lightweight or reasonably light, I should say, because uh, you want to last, because as you know, I don't believe in having breaks. When I train, I like to train. I don't like to do a set and then text me fucking mate for 10 minutes. I like to train. Weights. First set, all three muscle heads in one move. Front, side, rear. It's a piece of piss. All you have to do, stick your bum out. You know, don't be leaning forward like this, because you're gonna fuck your back up. Just stick your bum out, and your weights fall in position nicely. Do your doubts. As you stand up, so they're ready, front doubts, ready, side doubts, and then stick forward again. There you go, all three muscle heads in one move. So you do 10 of them, and then the second exercise is something called Cuban presses. Now, the Cuban press is a very old move. I used to see it quite, done quite a few times about 30 years ago. You never see anyone doing now, but you do, but you see them doing with barbells, and it's not very often you see them doing either. A Cuban press is basically a proper Cuba press, Cuban press. You start close, up side doubt, front doubt, rob tree cuffs, shoulder shaper. A lot, of, a lot of people say shoulder presses and all of a mass movement. I disagree with that. The reason I disagree, years ago when I first came to Shrewsbury, I met a bloke called Jim Bolton. He was Miss Universe at the time. Uh, the very first day I walked in his gym, he had a vest on and he was leaning on the counter. And I walked in and I was like, what the fuck? His shoulders are like two big fucking basketballs, man. I was amazed, I was like, how do you get your shoulders like that? And he said, can I do a lot of shoulder pressing? I said, you, well, when I got talking to him, that is. I said, get your shoulders like that. He said, well, you have to get the mass first, obviously, but he was a pro bodybuilder, you know what I mean? And uh, he said, loads of shoulder pressing. Shoulder pressing is the best exercise for mass building. Now I get that if you just put the bench back a bit and shoulder press, mainly front delt. That's fair enough. But sat upright, dumbbells, as far as I'm concerned, it does train all three heads, I don't care what you say, but it's a very good one for shaping the shoulders. So shoulder pressing is good. Now, when I warm up in the gym, many people have seen me, and I think I've only ever seen like two or three lads do this in the old time I've trained in all fairness. I've been training for 30 years. Long in 30 years actually. Oof. In fact, I'm giving away my age now, I'm not going to say long in really. Whenever I warm up, any kind of upper body workout, except for arms, you know, I don't, and, and legs, I don't do your legs, but any upper body, chest, back, shoulders, anything, I always do something like this. Now, the reason I do that, inside your rotary cuffs, you've got little stabilizing muscles. If you join the gym today and you can only do, say, four kilograms natural raises, after a few months, you got to six. You start next year, you're doing eights or tens, twelves, 
Now, I have a quick few advance, but you up the weight. The reason why you up the weight, your muscles getting bigger and stronger to cope with the heavy load. Your little stabilizing muscles, they don't get trained, which is why a lot of shoulder injuries happen, because they're weak, but they're the ones that stabilize your shoulders, i.e. stabilizing muscles. What you do, just by doing that, you're training your little stabilizing muscles. So you're running up and getting ready so they can cope with the heavy weight. You know, but you don't just come to there. Now, you come halfway. If I come below halfway, my shoulder comes up. You don't want your shoulder coming up. So you stop there. And you don't just come to there, you throw it back. You really gotta throw it back. You know, because you want that stretch. You want to stretch everything out and warm it up at the same time, of course. And it helps with the shoulder mobility. If you want to be a good fighter, you need good shoulder mobility. That's a Cuban press. Close. That's a Cuban press. With barbells on the other hand, no matter where you hold that barbell, I'm going to pick a stick up because I haven't got a barbell available. Oh, I'll some out of the back and get one. No matter where you hold that bar, your hands are stuck at that position. So you're not getting that lateral raise. You know, you're still getting a little bit, don't get me wrong, but you need that lateral raise. And then you may notice with that. Close, wide, close, wide, close. With a barbell, it's at one constant distance. But if you're training for time, barbells are good. Because as you know, when you're training for time, technique of form goes right out the window. Today, it's not a race. We're not training for time. We're going to train with good form, good technique. It's not an hard workout, but it's a good workout and it's relatively easy. And it should only take me about eight to 10 minutes. I'm going to do five sets of them which is gonna work five reps of 10. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 10 reps, and then I'm gonna do 10 reps of Cuban presses. So basically, I'm doing a set of like mass building if you want to a degree, and so I'm not using heavy weight, but basically you're putting a lot of, uh, I'm gonna put emphasis on a certain muscle, depending on the move, you know, rear delts, front delts. And then I'm going straight into Cuban presses, which will help shape the muscle after you know and as far as i'm concerned that's a good workout you don't have to be mad so let's crack on shall we eight right first things first do like i say 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 and 10 10 again okay five sets of each don't put the dumbbells down do not have a break see if you can do it without putting the dumbbells down and stay constant with the movement so here we go then uh, Excuse me if I'm not talking a load through this, by the way, because I'm trying to count the reps as well. And normally I can't, when I talk, I lose count, and then I end up doing fucking shit loads. So, here we go. One. Two.
Last set, here we go, Cuban presses. There we go. Now, believe it or not, I start to struggle at the end then. They might be lightweights. If I haven't got a clue how many reps that was. Oh. 10, 10, 10. Oh, hold on. Oh. 30, 5, 30. 3, 150. 150. Oh. Oh, fuckness. Yeah, me too. Now, so but that's a couple of hundred reps anyway, man. A couple of, a couple of hundred reps without putting the weight down is enough. I mean, my arms now, oh, my shoulders, I should say, uh, are a lot more pumped than if I was to do five sets of this, then five sets of that. Oh, they're really pumped now. Now, back to these. Also, the reason why these are so good, I've got a lot of blue noxion in my shoulders now. They're pretty pumped, fair play. Oh, what a good way of warming down with your shoulders and stretching everything out. You know what I mean? So let's do a few, a few of these now. Oh, they got that. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, infest into one of these. And far as shoulder mobility and in training your shoulders, would be one of the best investments that you have ever made, honestly. Uh, but then it's not the kind of thing that you can just go and try. You have to buy one and try it. Or if you're lucky enough to find a gym that they have them. But if you make me, I know you, you can come and have a go at mine. Oh, I feel so nice. Oh, I'll show you from behind again. Oh. shoulders feel really good now and I can tell I've trained them. Now how quick was that workout? Eight minutes, ten minutes at the most, that's all it takes. You know, now I could go into the gym and spend a couple of hours and spend most of the time texting my mates or just fucking chatting. But I'm too busy, I haven't got time for that. So as far as I'm concerned, quick ten minutes, I've had a good shoulder workout. Try it. But before I finish I will say this. As a rule, always do north and south at the beginning and at the end at the end the reason i'm not doing north and south today i got tattooed last friday saturday morning i woke up done me north and south as you do went to stretch up ah tore me scabbing and tattooed up the side so that's the only time i don't do north and south if it's going to wreck one of my tattoos so unless you've had a new tattoo on your side there's no excuse not doing north and south the reason i got a t-shirt on it is fucking freezing in here today because we're not open i'm not warmed up there's no heat or anything there you go. Right then, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I can't imagine you've done it because not many people have got Cuban sticks, I mean, uh, Indian clubs and whatnot. I hope that you all go to the gym or at home. If you train at home, you've got some London badges, you have a go at Cuban presses and you assume, ooh, even doing that now without a weight after that many reps, ugh, it's quite difficult. That's how quick you can have a shoulder workout. So until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Recommend me to all your friends. And uh, you take it easy. See you next time.